I want to clear up some questions uh, about this Trump Moscow project and why Michael Cohen lied to Congress about it and why President Trump misled the American people about it. So just very clearly, did President Trump or anyone on the Trump team ever <laughs> have a conversation with Michael Cohen well, about his congressional testimony? Well, let me correct the premise of the question. The president didn't lie to the American people about it. He said, the there, he had no dealings with, he, said he had no dealings with Russia. And as by your own ad admission, he was talking with people in Moscow yeah. about a Trump uh, Moscow project through November 2016. He, he, he wasn't talking to people in Russia about anything. He didn't talk to people in Russia at all. He, it was, the, there's not a was. single stitch of evidence. Uh, it was a early stage proposal that never got beyond a non-binding letter of intent that was being run by, by Michael Cohen. It was his project. And it was being done while uh, Donald Trump was running for president of the United States and wasn't focused on that at all. Sure, okay, but he so said, I, I, have no, I, I, I have no a, business I there. Company. I have no business there. Well, I, I have no okay. deals there. That's not true. That Absolutely he did, accurate. He, he had. No, he that, had is that is not inaccurate. That is not that. What, what you're saying is not accurate. I run a business. We do it in a lot of countries. I have proposals right now in six different countries. Two of them have been accepted. I'm doing business in the two that are accepted, not the four in which I have proposals. I would be misleading to my partners, if I said I was doing business in the six in which I have proposals, there's no business there. So I when don't he said, I'm not doing business said. in Russia, I, he said, I don't, I, I don't have any. He doesn't. He has a proposal by Michael Cohen that never went anywhere. He was in the middle that of is deal, not, but Michael Cohen was in the middle of talking to Russians about a potential deal. No, he wasn't. He wrote a letter, a non-binding letter of intent. He sent it to a general post office. He didn't even know where to send it. He had a couple of discussions. Michael Cohen did, not the president. And it was the last thing on the president's mind. So he was running for president of the United States. You know how busy that is. We're talking about 2016. You're not thinking about some proposal that at best is three years down the line. Okay. He's going to jail. Maybe I mean, Michael Cohen is going, about, to go, he's going to jail for not, not, being, on, for not being honest about the Trump Moscow project. I mean, he, he's going no, to jail that, for that, it. That, no, he's, no, he's not. In part. He's not. He's going he, well, what he's doing is he's telling the prosecutors what they want to hear. Now, you don't know if that's the truth or not. He has two contradictory statements, soon to be under oath. There was, but there was, a Trump, there was says, a Trump Tower Moscow deal. It just never actually came to fruition. They were discussing there it. There was no there deal. Was non, no, no. There was no, a no. non-binding letter uh, about wrong. it. Wrong. There, there is no such thing as a deal. Come on now. So it's not, a deal, until, it's not a deal until, until the very, very final step. All right, step. Let's, say, let's, say, let's say I wrote a proposal. Let's say I wrote a proposal to Rome to do security for Rome. I'm doing security in five other places. You say to me, where are you doing business? I would say the five places I'm doing business, okay. not I'm seeking business in Rome. God almighty, I'd be doing business. I look like my business was gigantic. So the president gave the accurate okay. answer. So uh, and I believe I actually I, I don't believe anything uh, he says. Look, yeah, you're focusing on the, this minutia. No, the I, reality I, is yesterday, BuzzFeed published a story yeah. that was scandalous. It was horrible. So they should be under, under, they should be sued. They should be under investigation. They said the president of the United States counseled someone to lie. So, and the special counsel had to, to go to the through the extraordinary this. act. I'm trying to get the to the bottom. Uh, special. Let's get to the, the bottom. I want to find out the truth That's because you have a hysteria. That's because you've got a hysteria going on in the media that interprets everything against There's Donald no Trump. There's no hysteria here, sir. And I, you I want to get to the bottom. should be careful. Yes. What they did yesterday okay, so is let's truly be, let's fake be news let's, and disgusting. Let's be careful. Let's, and let's, let's get to the facts of it. Did President Trump. Let's go. Let's do it. The, the, did President Trump or anyone on the Trump team talk to Michael Cohen about his congressional testimony before he, before he gave congressional testimony or after he gave congressional testimony? I, I can tell you, first of all, I wasn't the lawyer at the time. Right. Uh, Michael Cohen's lawyers reviewed his testimony with him. Yeah, but did, they, the, I'm sure did President shed, Trump no, or no, anyone? No, no, well, let me answer the question. Okay. As far as I know, President Trump did not have discussions with him, certainly had no discussions with him in which he told him or counseled him to lie. If, if he had any discussions with him, they'd be about the version of the events that Michael Cohen gave then, which they all believe was true. I believed it was true. I still believe it may be true, because unlike these people who want to just believe him, I believe Michael Cohen is a serial liar. If you can figure out when Michael Cohen's telling the truth, you're better than I am, Jake. I, and that's what happened to BuzzFeed. They bought a totally phony story. They yeah. weren't going to buy it 
unless you they just, got some phony stuff about federal agents, and then they went with it because they're the same ones who published the Steele dossier when no one else would do so it. You they obviously you have a hatred for the president. But, but you just acknowledge that it's possible that President Trump talked to Michael Cohen about his testimony. Which would be perfectly normal, which so the president so believed was true. So it's possible that that happened, that President Trump talked to Michael Cohen about I don't about know if it happened or didn't happen, and it might be attorney-client privileged if it happened, where I can't acknowledge it. But I have no knowledge that he spoke to him. But I'm telling you, I wasn't there then. So it's not significant because the well, version Michael he Cohen gave is, to the. But he's convicted of, uh, I mean, one of the things he pled guilty, pleaded guilty to, I believe, is lying to Congress about the Trump which Tower time? deal. Which time? Which well, time? Uh, well, you he, can pick your time. Right. He, but about the Trump Tower deal. About the Trump Tower deal. But he's pleading guilty to get a reduced sentence, which means he's saying what the prosecutor wants him to say. But you just acknowledge that President he, Trump might have talked to him about, about his testimony. And so what if he talked well, to him about it? is it not possible that Michael if Cohen had that conversation? And I'm just asking you for what, what happened or what didn't happen. It's not possible. The president, not Michael possible. Cohen, left the conversation thinking, well, this is what the boss wants me to say. The boss wants me not to say. Possible. It's not possible. The guy driving this testimony was Michael Cohen. In other words, you and I are in a deal together. You're the guy running it. I'm the guy that's sitting back there doing 50 other things. When it comes time to remember what happens, I mm. go to you, and you tell me what happened. I don't tell you what happened. Well, let me so ask Michael you. Cohen was telling people what happened. I don't know if the president was briefed by him or wasn't. He certainly was briefed by his lawyers, all attorney-client privilege. But right. I can tell you this. Michael Cohen's lawyers believed him at the time. Yeah. Why in wouldn't his, the president believe him? In his written answers. He, he knew what happened. He, Michael Cohen, was the guy in charge of this. I emphasize that. Right. It, president it, it, Trump was run for president. So when this comes down yeah. and everybody's everybody's in a joint defense agreement, you go to Michael Cohen, you say, Michael, what happened? Right. Michael's going to remember a lot better what happened than Donald Trump, where this was like this big in his recollection. So, and it's yeah. this big in Michael's. Right. So but let me ask you a question. And what you're doing you is so lawyer, unfair. The, this, this part you were the lawyer for in his written for, lawyer for Trump for in his written answers. President Trump's written answers to special counsel Robert Mueller's questions. What did President Trump have to say about the Trump Moscow project? He acknowledged that they had conversations about it throughout 2015, 2016. Through November 2016. And, uh, Through November. He answered, he answered, right? That's he, what you said he before. Answered those questions, he answered those questions fully and I think to the satisfaction of the special counsel. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not at all concerned about that. He gave a full and complete answer to it. I can't share the whole thing with you, but I can share the conclusion, which is he had conversations with Michael Cohen. But it was Michael Cohen driving the project, as, of course, anybody who's being fair minded would understand. He was running, I emphasize, for president of the United States, tied up 18 hours a day with that. Right. If he could devote a minute a day to this, it'd be a lot. So it would be a minute here, a minute there, a minute here. Your recollection of that is not going to be that strong. So let me ask you. The guy running the deal is going to remember it. Yeah. And I'm emphasizing the following. Do not think that just because he's pleading guilty to something, Michael Cohen's telling the truth. He's got every reason to say what the but, prosecutor wants him to say. But Corsi, yeah. they're offering Corsi a deal right now. If he says what they want him to say, he gets probation. They're offering so, Corsi a deal. How do you know this, that they're offering Corsi? Because he's suing over it. Okay. I have the documents. I have the documents. It was leaked to me. I have the documents. They gave him a script. If he reads from the script, no jail. If he doesn't read for the script, he gets maybe five years in jail. So, you so are. What's the temptation to read from the script? If you are a guy like Cohen, who was a lawyer taping his own client and lying to him about it, taping Chris Cuomo and lying to him about it, stealing money back when he was fiercely loyal in this transaction that was just uncovered, he kept thirty seven thousand dollars. So let me just ask he you, I just want to ask you a question invoice. because you, you the you, guy you, is a complete scoundrel. I, you can't believe him. I used to like Michael. I am so your, disappointed. Your position on Michael Cohen is long established. I, I want to ask you about, you, you've just been talking about and suggesting that the special counsel uh, is not on the up and up, uh, that he's trying to get people to say things that aren't true. I want you to take a listen to something President Trump said on well, Sunday. He wouldn't uh, say that. No, 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 wait, wait. In fairness to the special counsel, they would say they that maybe they believe that's the truth. That's what the, that's what the adversary process is all about. But don't take it as, you know, gospel, because guys have pled guilty, in my experience, the things they didn't do in order to get out of worse problems if, uh, that they actually did. In your experience, Happens you mean, all you mean the as a, time as a in the criminal you, justice system, when you were a unfortunate. When you were a prosecutor, you accepted plea deals from people for I things they did. didn't do? I'm talking, 
You're darn right, I would never do that. I'd never do what they did with uh, with Cohen and so have him plead to a okay. campaign finance violation that, as a matter of law, don't is not think, a campaign finance violation. Don't you think, don't you I think, think that's this, phony as a, as a $3 like bill. Special, yeah, but that you gives like you, let me camp. finish now. Yeah. Now I'm talking about this, my old office, the Southern District of New York. Right. That prosecution should, that uh, guilty plea should never have been taken. And the fact is, if it wasn't a president of the United States, mm -hmm. it would not have been taken. If you take that plea, there are 30 members of Congress I got ready for you to prosecute who had people who had the federal taxpayers money used to settle sexual harassment complaints. Yeah. Your money and mine used to do it. That's not a campaign contribution. They should all be under investigation now. I, Why aren't what? they? I have because no, he is I have treated no differently and unfairly. I have no He's problem innocent. with that. Let's do it. Let's bring that on.